Welcome to God's Way, Yatuve. I'm Adolfina Shepherd, and this is my co-host Thomas Knight Templar. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the show. We have a wonderful show lined up for you tonight. You're going to be learning all about the oils, um, which are a great healing tool that so many are unaware of. So we got two wonderful guests here who know about the oils, and they're going to enlighten us. <laughs> so let's start with you. This is our guest, Irina. How about you tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we'll move over here. Hello, everyone. Uh, what a pleasure to be here. And such a beautiful energy, beautiful people, beautiful topic to talk about, one of my favorite topics. Um, my name is Irina. I'm a love and relationships coach. I'm also a holistic aromatherapist. I integrate essential oils in my love and relationship coaching, in my holistic practice, in uh, all my approaches to um, humans, basically, because essential oils have so many beautiful um, therapeutic qualities. That's, that's what I do. Yeah, I, you know, uh, that's a wonderful thing, and everybody does this thing so different. Like, I, mm -hmm. I use energy. I also use oils, but I, I like also uh, Bach flower essences, you know, but everybody has their own stick, you know what well, I mean? Well, whatever works. Yeah, whatever works, but, you mm -hmm. know, so... But I use Crisco, Wesson, you know. Oh, oh you mean that kind of... Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, Bach, Bach uh, remedies, they work well with essential oils oh, because yes. they in turn, uh, you take them internally yes. and essential oils mm -hmm. you apply externally and, and it actually works in a very nice harmony. Well, she was doing yeah. that. To, she was doing yeah. that with me. She was told me the rescue remedy. Yeah. Oh, that. yeah. The rescue and remedy. Take two shots of this and do this and do that and take this. And I was doing that and I felt a hell of a lot better. <laughs> yeah. You know, so that's, I used to carry that thing with me all the time. I didn't even know where I could that's <laughs> emergency rescue thing folks that uh, it is good for you to know it's holistic and get it in any health food store or you can even get it at the, uh, the vitamin shop has it yep uh, and so does uh, what's that other one uh, GNC may have that and Wegmans has it Wegman, Whole Foods yeah. has it yeah sure rescue remedy they have an aerosol an aerosol and drops uh, a sprayer and they have uh, drops and little gummies too I didn't get the gummies. <laughs> yeah they have little gummies Why that's you really get gummies? nice well, I guess they didn't have them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't you introduce our other okay. guest and then we'll our go next there. guest, I'm going to see if I get this right. <laughs> All right. Mahanez Madan, right? Yes. Okay. Look at that. I'm good. Right. I'm good. <laughs> and I only practiced that since the last show we had her on. <laughs> okay. Tell us about yourself. Yeah. Um, uh, I am um, um, a spiritual coach and I specialize in um, life path um, coaching and um, I do tarot and um, energy healings and I love incorporating essential oils in my healings and even bath flower remedies because they just go so, so well. well together. Yeah. Yes, they do. And, uh, yeah. Don't you find that most of this healing with the oils and with the bath flower remedies and so forth, don't you think that they work on a very deep emotional level? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, and it's soothing because the mm -hmm. scent of what, uh, what was the name of the stuff? Nairobi. What she said. <laughs> okay. And before the show started, I need to put something on my wife's temples to help her with some migraines that she's been having. And I also got some of that on me. And uh, I tell you the truth, I, I can breathe like I can't believe I can breathe. Now that was Clary, right? You said it was Clary? Uh, no, this was clar uh, Clarity. It's a blend. It has uh, eucalyptus. It has peppermint. Well, it was working better it. than Claritin. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Claritin, right. Right. So, um, and like you said, they, they do uh, essential oils. They have, we, we call it dual action. Um, it's very pleasant for the mind. That's why they are so beautiful so and very so calming for us. Very cleansing. Yeah, and plus they have molecules and certain chemical compounds and frequencies. We'll talk. I'm sure we'll talk about yeah. this later. That um, are good for our emotions and our physical health. Now, uh, what kind of a base oil is used for the oils? Do you know? Because I do not know that. What do you mean? One type of oil for all of them? Well, that um, is the actual they, essential well, base. None of them are concentrated, right? So aren't don't they have a base oil like? I'm just going to toss it out there like olive oil or castor oil or something like um, that. Yeah, there's yes. a bunch of um, um, oils that are used as bases. Mm -hmm. Grapeseed mm -hmm. is a common one. 
um, uh, sometimes uh, vitamin E oil. So there's different bases. Mm -hmm. So essential oils on their own, they're very concentrated. Right, you exactly. Put them on the skin. Sometimes they say, you know, it's not the best thing to directly apply them. So when you blend them with a carrier oil, essentially, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. essential oil is the, the soul of the plant. It's right. the main, um, it's like bringing the forest home. But mm -hmm. when you put that in a carrier, that makes it more mm -hmm. carryable or apl applicable. And right. And then there's different carrier oils depending it's on the use, purpose, and also mm -hmm. different ones that go well mm -hmm. with different uh, essential oils yeah. that blend well. I, like I, in, my, in, my, in my truck, I have, a, it's a plug-in diffuser that you put water and then you put a drop or two of whatever, I have lemon eucalyptus, something else, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, there's so many I versions. do that and mm -hmm. it, it, it's kind of like, you know, uh, it's cleansing for me, but it kind of like changes the energy around, you know, I just feel a lot better when that's going, you know? Uh, these do the same thing? Yeah, well, uh, uh, interesting you said eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is considered by ancient cultures, civilizations. Mm -hmm. um, it was used in many rituals, in cleansing rituals. And it is considered a breath of life, uh, eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's very opening. Um, so it opens up your br uh, breathing passages. It uh, oxygenates your brain, and that's why in spy industry you see in in saunas and steam rooms they use a lot of eucalyptus because it's so clearing, it's so opening. Mm -hmm. um, it has uh, a lot of chemical compounds that actually work well with your physiology that open up those breathing passages and oxygenate the brain. Um, yeah, and um, I have one of those, Tommy. I have one of those. Only in mine, you Did don't. You the no, but I've had it for years. It's it looks like a lighter, and you kind of stick it in, and it has um, a little cardboard piece of paper, and you put whatever oil you want on it, and then it will diffuse so it for like the a car. Paper. Uh, no, it's kind of thick. It's almost like a little cardboardy type it's of person. It. It's mm -hmm. okay. And then eventually it dries out, and you have to put more oil on mm -hmm. it or get a new one. But uh, I remember one time I had a really sore throat, and I was at an expo. So a woman who was an oil distributor, she says, have some thieves and some tea. Yeah. So, well, I love the smell of thieves. Oh, it smells so delicious to me. Well, anyway, so I drink the, the tea. Thieves? Yeah, there's well, a story behind it. She has it here. It. Well, I was going to say, because I thought she said thieves. I was it, yeah, thieves. that's what it is. I was thinking, thieves. Thieves. Do you have it's to go to Rikers blend. Island yeah. to see what they smell like? Well, yeah, she probably has it right I have here. It. I and have you'll have it. to sniff it. Do you have it? You can pull it out so we can smell it? Uh, absolutely. It's, it's a very fall-like smell. It's for this time of the uh, year. It's um, it has clove, it has uh, cinnamon. cinnamon, so it, it's very yeah. yeah it's, it's it's one of those scents, and it's very. It smells like Pier One when you <laughs> walk in there. Yeah. Exactly, okay. it's kind of kind of like right. Pier One. I, my wife hates when I go to that store because I walk into that store and I walk out hundreds of dollars later with oh, yeah. cans you spray. <laughs> Things it's that you don't need, corn, right. you name it. It's so easy. And interestingly, Thieves is one of the oils you actually cannot uh, apply directly on the skin. So this is one of the oils that you can, uh, you, uh, we recommend diluting mm -hmm. because right. those are skin irritants. Cinnamon, clove are actually so skin irritants. can you put it on your clothes, I say, maybe? <laughs> no, not clothes. Uh, you have to be <laughs> careful with my stain, your clothes. You can rub on your feet. Let's say if you're not feeling well, uh, mm -hmm. you can rub on your feet because um, skin on your feet can actually um, handle it. Okay. Well, you and, know, and you can uh, do like a mouth rinse with it. Your gums can handle it, but directly on the skin, a, a I would rinse? not. Um, I don't know. About well, let me tell you though. Wait, I have to finish the story <laughs> okay. because mm -hmm. so I put it in. It, she puts it in the tea, right? So afterwards, I'm looking at the cup, and the cup was styrofoam. It had eaten it away oh in some spots. And I said, and you had me drink this? <laughs> and she used to have two kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> now she only has one. And the other one has holes in it. Well, I think she put the drops in first, so it was concentrated. And then you pour the water and the tea in, right? But it's one of my favorites. I love it. Where I just opened the bottle. Uh, I just opened a bottle, so just kind of smell the cap. And that's how you smell essential oils, actually, when you open a bottle. Wow, this thing smells like one of them pies, those cinnamon things. Yeah, made out of, exactly. Uh, yeah. What are they, uh, it's ceramic? a beautiful scent to diffuse around holidays. Uh, um, yes. Scent. Let me smell yeah. it again. I love it's this mine. smell. No, oh, it's, it's mine, mine. mine. I can smell oh, I the love it. And I it, love is it. it is a tip for ju just listeners, uh, when you open up a bottle of essential oils, therapeutic gray essential oils, they're very potent. So it is recommended not to Sniff right away thing. just <laughs> bring it to your nose. You might be sensitive. Just 
kind of send the aroma from a distance and yeah. from a cap and maybe get well, familiar with it. Get friendly oh, yeah. with it first, yeah. you know? Just, uh, just a little <laughs> shot, you know? Say hello first. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, they, they are they are um, life substances. You know, they are nature's uh, substances. It's nature's they, gifts yeah, to us. they are gifts to us. So That's right. we have to treat them with respect. Yeah, you know? and you know the thing is about this is you were talking about the Claritin, right? Well, mm -hmm. these are completely holistic, mm -hmm. and it's like it's like getting like she said, nature's medicine, right? Nature's medicine. Now, what did you bring? I see that you have a, a, an assortment from India. I think uh, you said. Uh, yeah. I from there. Um, my favorite one that I use a lot is... Um, it's a hell of a ride um, to go get <laughs> essential oil. ...is um, Nairoli. And oh, um, that's actually orange very soothing. And um, yeah, it has a very um, soothing scent. I'm the guinea pig here. So for you <laughs> see me fall, it's because I had an overload of flowers. Right. Oh, you you will oh, be like very that. energized after this uh, energized. episode. Right, I feel like Fabio. Oh, I, I love I made that part. This. I really don't. It smells good, don't it? What is this called? Neroli. Nairobi? Do you have that also? Like Africa? Yes, we have. I don't have it with Nairobi? me now. Nairobi. Nairobi. Oh, it's Nairobi. one of the uh, very expensive uh, oh, oils. Oh, I love it. I love uh, uh, it. We, we shouldn't say expensive, precious. Precious. Yeah, precious. this is a better oh, way. Yes, and it's, yes. uh, it's beautiful and you get this for feminine energy. Yeah. This is lovely. Wait, online? Oh, I, I need um, to get oh, no, that. I, I was, when I was back oh, when well, you go there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, get yeah. me one too. Oh, <laughs> I really yeah. like that. You think she goes around the block? It's India. Well, I think she probably visits often, right? <laughs> around the block. I do, I How do. often do you go to I India? Go once, I go annually. Yeah, most people so. do that come from another country. I mean, you're from there? I am. Yes. You are? No, she's yeah. from Poland. <laughs> Oh, and I bet so you So we'll cook. all put in an order for I you. <laughs> oh, I bet you yeah. cook Indian. I love Indian food. I just went to an Indian restaurant this yeah, past week. <gasps> oh, I'd what love that. It? Shrimp vindaloo? Oh, I could do that. <laughs> well, I loved it. Home. I had like this I told you, 37. I'm not, yeah, I'll oh, let you in. 40 spicy. Good. Oh, it mm -hmm. was so good. Oh, my God. Spicy, right? Yeah. Oh, I love spicy food. Mm. I love it. The are very... They're, like, like she said, very precious because it takes a lot to extract mm -hmm. from flowers. So yes. The quantities are mm -hmm. little and they really help with the chakra. Mm -hmm. Oh, your neroli, yeah. your rose, uh, tuberose eggs, they open up the heart and help with liver heart, or heart ache. So they're very uh, soothing in general. Yeah, you know, I went to yeah. Egypt in 2011 and they do, the, uh, we went to a perfumery. Mm -hmm. And in the perfumery, mm -hmm. I brought home rose oil a to course. concentrate. You brought home a tar. Oh, my God. It was like this scent. Oh, I, I bought little bottles to pour them in for my friends. I also got jasmine. And oh, I of got, course. Those um, are very popular uh, oils in, in the perfume industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were, there were quite a few, but it, it was a fascinating experience because we had little espressos and, you know, they brought them in on trays mm -hmm. and we just smelled all these perfumes. And, and you know why espresso? Why? Because coffee breaks up the smell, oh, the well scent. Oh, that makes sense. So let's say if you smell thieves and it, it kind of still lingers on, you uh -huh. will smell coffee to before you smell a different oh, oil. kind of like so you have the uh, sorbet. It's a neutralizer. It's, it's, neutralizer. it's ah. like a neutralizer, right. Like sorbet between meals. Yeah, uh -huh. yes. yeah. so coffee yes. beans. Yes. Coffee yes. beans yes. will, like will yeah, yeah, you'll see coffee okay. beans around oils a lot. Oh, they're gonna make, uh, they're see, so make you're learning something, something new. Yeah. Yeah. And I always, you know, Tom Ford perfumes, mm -hmm. why are they so expensive? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a creative person, of course, uh -huh. but also because he uses those very expensive oils, natural oils, the rose, jasmine, the roly. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. you, like, he uses very high quality oils. This and is that's the young oils you're talking about? Uh, no, no, he probably Who gets them. Who are you them. talking about? Um, Tom Ford perfumes, he's, oh. his bottle of like perfume, if you go to high-end store, probably $300 uh, for, small bottle mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's you paying actually for essential oils <laughs> yeah oh. because because it's all the other ingredients uh, oh you have to write that yeah. down for me now I have these ladies writing I got a whole list yes. going of things I want to look into or get <laughs> mm -hmm. to her point it's very true mm -hmm. that even like the commercial perfumes mm -hmm. when you go for a perfume that actually has essential oils versus um, a perfume that does not have essential oils uh, you have the therapeutic benefits Oh, right. Otherwise, it's just 
great things. Yeah. You know, even Airwick, you know, the, uh, the little deodorizer you plug in, they have been coming out with, with essential, essential oil. oils in it. I, I but I'm sure it's not as pure as any of this, that, you that know? I had, a, I had a lady in Stop and Shop, and she had something on that was like, I don't know about it being essential, <laughs> but it was certainly deadly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, you have to be very careful. It closed my throat. It's, it's people it don't know. It closed my people throat that I had to get away from her. Then she gets on the line in front. I got off the line and went on to another one. And she followed you. No, no, she didn't. But, <laughs> but, but not, not for nothing. She didn't follow me, but the funk did. Wow. Descended, yeah. Um, part of it is just being an educated consumer. Before you buy oils, you, you need to uh, research the company. You can call the company. You can, uh, you well, can ask. Well, this company that you're showing here, uh, Beauty, is it? Uh, uh, this is Young Living. Yeah, they've been around for many, many years. Okay. And there are a lot of uh, reputable companies. And you, right. you can ask for actual chemical analysis. They, it's, it's public. They, they send it to you. If they're hiding something, then it's not pure. There's mm -hmm. no regulation on the market. Uh, how much uh, they can put mm -hmm. in a bottle to actually call it essential oil. It could be less than 0.05% and they can still say it's organic and it's very far from organic. Just being an educated yeah. consumer before you buy something, just know what you're buying and mm -hmm. uh, it has to say botanical name on the bottle and there's certain there's a there's a way to distinguish you know you, well, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. Just, yeah. I just bought a salt lamp now I have a bunch of regular salt lamps for years okay. but now the salt lamp I just bought it has a little hole in the top a metal thing that you put the oils in and I've been enjoying the white angelica oil every day I put a little drop in there <gasps> It really makes nice. the whole house smell so oh. wonderful. Like I have to get heaven. me one of those. Oh. I want one of those. Oh my God. Yeah, it's the most amazing oil for those who are opening spiritually or the, you know, it's so good for connecting with your guides. It's so good for spreading. And it's so much nicer than, say, spraying for and breeze or, or, you know, anything oh, like I that, right? Yes. Spring fabuloso. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Fabuloso. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, you know what my husband started doing? Rather than using sprays in the bathroom, he took one of his bottles of cologne and put it there. And so instead, he you would talk use about cologne. Of cologne. <laughs> Many years ago, when I, when I worked in the airport, uh -huh. we had an account with Estee Lauder. And I was in the city, and um, I had this really expensive cologne. And I tell you, I hated it. Oh, yeah. It's called T Rose. Ooh. Right? It is a very expensive cologne. Mm hmm. That was the worst smelling, headache giving. It, it, it was in the drunk with me. And did it reek? Huh. Uh, I couldn't understand. How, and most of the women that wore it were elderly, very elderly. It's like something from like back in the 40s, maybe. Wow, interesting. Well, I, 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 I'm going wrote. to look into it, <laughs> see what's in it. You know well, what, Tommy? You're probably chem sensitive because I'm chem sensitive to so many different things. And, um, and, and you never know what's going to do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In this case, that perfume and, the, and whatever the other woman had on too, right? Uh, that you were talking about in the store. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Obviously something that you're chem sensitive to. People don't, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, some people are highly sensitive to chemicals, no matter whether they're holistic, whether they're perfume, whether they're an aerosol, whatever. Um, you can be highly allergic to that. In fact, my brother's like that. His wife uses a hairspray that absolutely makes him sick, and he's been trying to get her to change for years. She doesn't get it, <laughs> you know? But there are sometimes these things just have odors or a chemical in it that you just can't tolerate. No. Right, and the more you use natural stuff, the more you become allergic to chemicals. Yeah. You yeah. Can, your nose immediately distinguish that and you just mm -hmm. can't be near. I stopped, the, I used to use a lot of perfumes. I, mm -hmm. I, I used to have collection. Now I have maybe one or two very soft and I use them very, um, mm -hmm. you know, rarely. Yeah. I, I mostly use my essential oils because it's just I can't yeah. Yeah, and it's amazing tolerate. You I told you. Day, you have all this variety and depending on how you're feeling, you know, like if you need to wake up, you'll have, you'll wear your oranges and your citruses. Uh-huh. And um, so, yeah. Hi, yes. And I make my own actually perfumes now too. Do I, you? Yes. <laughs> and spritzes, I, I, I like, they're very refreshing. Yeah, I have a, a woman that I see at the expo, she makes her own like that. And I also know someone who makes the very purest oils. Um, but they're not a name brand. Uh, and Green Mountain is also good. They do things with pets, 
which is very nice. Mm -hmm. I recently, at the, at the last expo I was at, uh, there was a distributor there who had uh, cannabis oil for cats. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when my cats are, are not emotionally balanced, like we moved, <laughs> you know, that upset yeah. them. My husband crossed over, that upset them. And so, cool. you know, they flip out sometimes. And so when I, now I got the pure, ooh, you know, put a little dry. They even will eat it right off their food. The cat was looking at his paw and said, wow, the colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd be interested to learn more because um, when I did my training through National mm -hmm. um, Association of Hol Holistic Aromatherapists, what we learned is that cats lack uh, liver enzyme to process essential oils, so we have to be very careful oh, with yeah. cats. We probably would have to dilute a lot uh, and mm -hmm. just use one tiny drop. And, and before you ap apply directly on the cat's fur, you first rub it in your hands and then you rub you know, it on and Yeah, you don't ever uh, directly apply on a cat. And Dogs are different, yeah. but still, you have to be very careful uh, away from the I am ears. so shocked that they make an essential oil thing from based on what you just said for flea medicine for the cats on essential they oil. They probably mm -hmm. use the formula that is safe and, oh. and there's certain proportions because in Young Living, we also have uh, animal scents. It's oh, yeah? for animals and you can use it on horses and you, <laughs> dogs and cats. But you know they use it they know what they it's mm -hmm. like spelling you have to know how to spell and yeah. what to put in it to yeah. make it safe well do they um have a kit for just for the pets yes, yes they have um animal sense it's oh called. well mm -hmm. this is the first time i'm hearing of this see you learn something <laughs> new every time every time you talk yeah. to somebody i'd like to see you put that oil on a horse mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 come here trigger let me rub something on you okay <laughs> <laughs> they fooled you, you it. No, I tell you. So what else do you have there? Because they're all different, I um, see. Oh, yeah. So this one I have, it's called Russian Ganda, or it's um, actually uh, tube rose. It's in a roll-on form. Um, um, but tube rose is another one that I really love. I love my flower uh -huh. oils. No, it's definitely a flower, um, that's for sure. Um, it's very typical to India and yes. Mediterranean yeah. oil. I guess it's, Turkey. it's just a yeah. personal oh choice. I like this one more than I like the other, the other one. one. Oh my yeah. God, that smells so delicious. <laughs> yeah, this is delicious, that's exactly I'm it. I'm putting Neroli's it in order with you when you go. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Yeah. Now, this sister got a roll on like head. <laughs> yeah, no. We have a rose oil, yeah. yes. That this is a different that doesn't oil. doesn't smell like rose oil to me. That's a combination, right? Yeah, and it has a Tube rose is the main content, main, main which is reading. different from regular rose. They're, oh, yeah, they're, they're slightly different. different. Scents. They're, they're different, different notes, too. Notes yeah, to because yeah. that is amazing. It oh. doesn't have that very strong rose flavor. I am yeah. putting an order oh. in there, honey. <laughs> One of these days when we get smell -o vision at home, you'll get to enjoy this with smell -o -vision. us. Smell-o-vision. I love yeah. it. Oh, smell -o -vision. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you we'll just have to take our word you for it. You know what? That is that thing about uh, talking about essential oils. Right. So, uh, uh, right? Like yeah. You can't really send them and experience them in real life. It's oh. true. You have I mean, to feel it for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and that's the yeah. thing. I mean, it, that's why it's so nice to uh, like put a put a word to it. And that is just delicious. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Oh my God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not numbered here. You know, there's three women for one. <laughs> But if you smelled that on a woman, you would love it, wouldn't you? When I go home, she's going to think I've been out with somebody. <laughs> no, without Let, true. Let's, let's give you something masculine, then. How about we okay. give you something masculine? What is that, made of sneaker? <laughs> Stinky sneakers. <Okay. laughs> no, only kidding. All right. I mean, we, we are creative people here. Okay. We are not creative. <laughs> no sneaker. Dirty sweat socks. Oh, God. Right. So this is Chatron. And it actually, um, it's a very balancing now, scent see, now for that, men. That does smell masculine to me. Mm. Very masculine. It smells like something you have in a wood shop. Hmm. It yeah, has, yeah, it yeah. has, interesting that you detected that it has some smell. woody aromas it in it. And it's a very mm -hmm. grounding. So guys, stop smelling up my stuff. <laughs> it's called it's Shutran. Very, it's good. It is. Woody, yes. Woody. Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that, that is delicious. How come you don't get no play from mine? Just yeah. take it and put it away. It does have some. Afro <laughs> I <laughs> forgot you to tell it. You I want to put it. Okay, he wants to put. No, some I don't want to put it. It does <laughs> have some aphrodisiac <laughs> properties. Uh, just, I'm, I'm just warning. Aphrodisiac <laughs> properties. <laughs> you heard that first here. <laughs> oh, well, so is Rose and Neroli. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they all. You already. A lot of them, them do. They're already working. <laughs> okay. 
Now that we found out that this can do these things, <laughs> okay. Now, you know, when I was um, actually running my, my school, my healing school, and I used the Bach flower rem, I also used the oils, but I was more fond of putting a mix together for my students when I would do a private session. And so I would, I would scan and see what they needed and create a blend. And so I would imagine that this is what you do and what you do with the oils. Is that right? Yes, that's mm -hmm. exactly it. And so you have these grouped in a special order. So why don't you tell us what the groupings are? Oh, okay. Um, so I, my practice is, is mostly working around feelings and emotions mm -hmm. because uh, and essential oils interact with our limbic system. Mm -hmm and with our parasympathetic nervous system. So they have a direct access. They go through our olfactory, we call, which is a sense of smell, go right into our brain and our limbic system, straight to our emotions. So that's why they're so powerful and they have high frequencies to them because of they are so potent. So the way I group them is uh, these essential oils, I work a lot with women. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of my clients are women. I do, I run um, women's circles. I use essential oils with my, in my women's circles. Um, and actually in, in your living, you, you could see most of them are, are purple or red or pink. So very kind of feminine very colors. Uh, yeah, very feminine colors. Uh, so the, the, these are oils that interact well with yin and yang energy, feminine, mm -hmm. masculine, very balancing. Some of them are aphrodisiacs, some of them are healing. Some, uh, some of them we use for the heart, chakra, um, the different purposes. Um, I have some green labeled oils here for women too. And they are sage and cypress. And this is very good uh, during critical times of the months. Uh, because they improve circulation. Oh, so oh. just kind of rub nicely on your, on your tummy and, and it's just yeah. very soothing and healing, yes. beautiful oils. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Sorry. I get, I get a little irritable every 28 days too. <laughs> you can, you can but it's exactly. just me, I don't know. <laughs> you can try and use wow. them, see what happens, share your experience. I get so beat up here tonight, really. <laughs> Well, now, you know, it's funny. I remember one of my teachers uh, rubbed one of the oils on her feet for clearing. Oh, and it stunk. I was so glad that it was, was on feet. my feet. No, it wasn't the feet. The oil itself stunk. Do you know which one I'm talking about? No. Oh, I tell you what, I couldn't, st maybe it just stunk to me because I really <laughs> couldn't stand the smell, you know, like you couldn't okay. stand that smell. Okay, so you don't know which one I'm talking about. Maybe it's just a reaction to me. <laughs> I don't know, but it really stunk to me. You were that me. close to e her feet? Everyone no, no, no. She, uh, it was on my feet. And when oh, she, she put, put it on, it on and I says, oh, my God, that stinks. I'm glad it's on my wow. feet. <laughs> you know, the, there are, everyone has a slightly different reaction, mm -hmm. although they more or less have similar properties. But yeah. some people just resonate better with some oils and do not resonate. And also sometimes the way it reacts with the skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... And the hormones and the your skin. Your chemistry, yeah. Your chemistry, that's exactly it. So yes. that could be it. Absolutely. And now, do you should find out what it is. Don't wear it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I'd get a whiff of it and I would know. Wow. Do you um, ever sense that someone needs almost like a hormone or a chemical in their body and you pick an oil to match that? Yes. Yes. And this is an intu intuitive thing, right? Yes, it is. But I always double check that mm -hmm. with the science behind it. So if I'm working on a specific chakra, mm -hmm. then I'll double yeah. check. Well, you know, because like, for instance, with Reiki, I'll never do like red on a heart chakra. So I just always want to double check because mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's almost medicinal. Yes. But now, yeah, it does come intuitively. Okay. Too. Now, are you, are you psychic? Or a medium? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have that gift. And how about you? Are you psychic or a medium? I hate that word. Yeah, but you <laughs> know I what really I really mean. hate that I word. Know I consider like myself psychic. a healer. Okay, okay leave it at that. So She's an yeah, intuitive I'm healer. Intuitive, intuitive healer. Okay. Because a lot of this is an intuitive science. Yes, mm -hmm. you have to be, uh, you right. know, you have to assess. It, it's you a holistic. To, you have it's to a holistic interpret what the other person Right, needs. exactly. And we all unique. We all unique. That's uh, true. What works for you might not work for you, right? I'm special, my mommy told me. She's prejudiced. We all special. You are the only one who's special. No, no, no. I love you, Tommy. You are we special. special. We all oh. are. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yes. So there's only one little group that's for men? 
Uh, no, there are actually there are quite a few. Uh, what for men, uh, it's good. Uh, well, you got smell chitron. Then woody the patchouli is very is excellent. Patchouli, oh, patchouli, I've heard patchouli of that. yeah, patchouli is very popular okay. scent. It's very masculine, musky scent uh, for men. I will let you smell it. Um, uh, and um, my male clients naturally drawn to woody aromas, cedar wood, sandalwood. Uh, yeah. Incredibly spiritual <coughs> oils. They're yeah. incredibly beautiful. You like this spiritual, bottle. It's but good. very resin like. Yeah. It, 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 has a, it has a man's yeah. feel to it. Yes. You want to smell? Yeah. You want I think I, I'm That's familiar with yeah, patchouli. Yeah. 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 And, and other popular in perfume industry. Yes, yes. very popular. Yeah. It's got a man's scent to it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. After the show, we'll shave your back. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Goes and I away. happen to love patchouli. I happen to love, uh, and and because that's it, I, right? Yes, I, I have a lot of feminine energy, and sometimes when I need to, a little bit Calm more down. balancing, mm -hmm. I use patchouli, and it, it really it, it, it creates this energetic balance within you. I agree. It's like patchouli is masculine, so many. feminine polarities that mm -hmm. I work a lot with, and yeah. it's just a beautiful yin and yang. Well, women's always you know with all the emotions and all the and it's a very good hormone balancer, oh. the patchouli. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and all of the woody oil Oils are very good grounding oils, and I, I get the sense that it, they're very root chakra and the lower chakra oils. They mm -hmm. bring you back. They but ground they also you. They ground you. But they'll also open up, like frankincense and all mm -hmm. of them are also good for your yeah. crown and all of that. Oh, yeah. But but I, I get that sense that that's why they're called masculine, mm -hmm. because those are the masculine ch or grounding chakras. I'm always mm -hmm. burning frankincense and myrrh when I go to my beach that I have sanctified for the Blessed Mother. I always bring that as a gift that I have to cleanse the beach. And there's been times when I'm like Very three miles cleanse. down the beach and all of a sudden I'll smell it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it a powerful carries. oil, yeah. It's yeah. a powerful it's oil. It's like Palo Santo. It's that sandalwood. Palo Santo. That's He's it. a brother of uh, yeah. frankincense, yeah. yeah. Which one, dear? Palo Santo. It's, uh, Palo uh, Santo? Palo Santo. It's from Peru mm -hmm. and Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. This is a tree yeah, that grows. It, uh, yeah. okay. it, it's, it's, it, it comes from a family of frankincense. Yeah. Because frankin frankincense grows in the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. um, and myrrh. So myrrh, yes. Yeah. Uh, and Palo Santo we have in, in South America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think that most of the perfumes have essential oils in them, the better ones? It depends, no. No? Not no. necessarily. No, I don't, it, not necessarily because now we, we learn how to... Uh, mimic mother nature. <laughs> but does this work with our friend? <laughs> and uh, produce uh, synthetics in the laboratories mm -hmm. that actually smell like rose, which is not rose. Yeah. Yeah. I have a perfume that I got in an expo. I think it's called Mamza. And I had done a trade. Mimosa? Mimosa? No, I thought it was Mamza is the brand name of the perfume. Oh. And it's made from essential oils and it's really beautifully yeah. delicate. Yeah. Yeah, it was just starting out, so they were promoting that perfume. Well, I was trying to say, does any of this work with a person's pheromones? Yeah, good question. Because your pheromones, uh, like they, they, been they make uh, mass production of uh, uh, male uh, pheromones, so a guy puts that on, so he's more attractive. A woman's more attractive to him, Absolutely. and she doesn't know why. Patchouli is one. Uh, anything that works with our hormones, uh, anything that works with our emotions, with our uh, reactions in the brain, mm -hmm. uh, produce pheromones. Mm -hmm. And um, this is so primal because um, the, the, the research studies that are done mm -hmm. and um, the findings pointing to the fact that our brain detects pheromones right. quicker than any other um, and then I, I can't even call them scents because you don't even send pheromones. Sometimes you, s you send those pheromones like a person has a certain order, mm -hmm. right. uh, but sometimes you don't, and your brain still picks it up and, and has a That's reaction. Well, we were talking right. before it's about really that. It's really primal. Well, yeah, we yes. were talking about that before. Yeah. I told you I'm in a place, and if I, know, I just sense stay away from smell, that place. Sense of smell. Remember, our ancestors relied on our sense of smell for hunting, right. for reproduction. Yeah. You know, it's it's very powerful. It's one of the most powerful. Uh, Sen uh, senses that we have. Mm -hmm. That's now, why pheromones themselves do not have a scent. When if you buy them, just the pheromones. No, they, you, they, you, you emit they pheromones. don't. Right? Yeah. Like um, w when we're doing with certain, we're dealing with certain, uh, say, insects. They leave a pheromone trail, and when they find food, that pheromone trail leads the other ones to the food source. All right, and that's how we capture them mm -hmm. because we know. 
If you see the one is there, that we break it up in the middle here, and we get rid of them all. Yeah. Right. By using the, the male pho uh, pheromone or female pheromone, right? Uh, I would. I've never seen that actually, or somebody actually come out and say, "Yeah, I sprayed this stuff on." Next thing you know, I had twelve women <laughs> follow me around. I never heard anybody say that. Because oh. re remember, it's all energetic. Uh, when we use essential oils, they high in frequencies. They also interact not only with our endocrine system, uh, mm -hmm. hormones, uh, w with our energy. Energy. So it raises See? our vibrations. And what happens when you feel happy and you're walking around? All of a sudden. More people are attracted to you. No. Your pheromones, you produce more pheromones. You 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 vibrate on a different level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so they are, it's it they are com it is a combination of things. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, some people think, okay, you know, I'm I'm just going to use this oil, but uh, if I'm not okay emotionally, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying positive affirmations, and I'm not waking up and actually taking care of my emotions, uh, taking care of my feelings. Uh, releasing negative feelings and or releasing negativity out of my life, I can't expect the same kind of results, <laughs> you know? No, that's true. It's, 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 it's a tool, like many others, yeah. that work all together to create well, that energy. Well, you're doing level. your reading. Somebody comes into you and they're a, an emotional wreck for some kind of reason, mm -hmm. you know, whatever they're going through. I mean, what could you recommend to them along with a reading? I mean, is, uh, do you guys do anything uh, using the essential oils? and maybe some type of herb combination that, you know, because I know a lot of herbalists have stuff that's similar. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What do you use, dear? Um, so, depending on uh, the person and what they're going through, but I, I tend to recommend Neroli a lot because for the comforting feeling and even lavender because yeah, I, like it's it. yeah. I know it's common and it's popular, but it works. It, it works. has that soothing, comforting sense. So it mm. depends on what they're going through. Like if they specifically want to heal a broken heart, it's a different oil. But if they specifically want to just come back to their center and they're very fragmented all what over was that and broken bring heart their one? energy. <laughs> it's just curious. Yeah, yeah. So I generally recommend Nairoli, but sometimes I recommend Nairobi? Ro Nairoli. Oh, Nairoli. But sometimes I recommend Rose. Um, and. Um, yeah, usually, and if, if I feel that they need a lift of energy, then I'll, d I'll recommend jasmine, or mm -hmm. um, another one that works very well is bergamot for oh, lifting I energy. Love bergamot. Bergamot. Yeah. Oh, I, I love it. I group this as uplifting. Yeah. If you see all the yeah. citrusy oils yeah. that I group, okay, yeah. you yeah. mentioned. Yeah. Oh. And bergamot, not only it's uplifting, it's also balancing. So yes. it brings you up, but it also balances ba your energy. Do you like know it's they have a tea called yes. Sash Double Bergamot Tea? And I have, I am addicted to Earl it. Grey. Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Well, yeah, but uh, the Earl wow. Grey, right? And in it, mm -hmm. Like, Stash is the only one I know that has double bergamot. That is good. It's good. Yeah. Actually, it, it's high in vitamin C, too. You can use this on your skin. Not, not on the sun. Not when you go in the sun, because it's photosynthetic. Mm -hmm. Or vitamin C, as we know. But you can, it's very uplifting. Yeah. It's well, that's great for you. saw that, right? That smells yeah. good, too. <laughs> Let me smell that. I love bergamot. It's so I love citrus scent. They're just yes. happy. Oh, they're, they're just happy. Exactly. They're just happy. Exactly. They they they're just yes. happy. Yeah. And that does make me smile. Yeah, it's bergamot. delicious. Excellent for skin. I Thank love to you. add it to my creams. Uh, when I make my creams, my balms, my uh That's more like you can add it to your cupcakes. Scrubs. Yeah. Oh, they go so yeah. well. Morning scrubs, wake up right? scrubs. Yeah, you when you go in the shower with mm -hmm. soul scrub, it's it's excellent. What mm -hmm. else do you have there under in your uplifting pattern? All right. So let's see. We have uh, tangerine, which is also mm -hmm. citrusy. We have lemon. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have bergamot. What is this? Uh, oh, that's two bergamots I have. Oh, sorry. I actually made a mistake. This was grapefruit. You smelled. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm like, this is a bergamot. Okay. Yes. I just love the bergamot yes. smell. Yes, bergamot oh. is uh, uh, incredible. And Joy has, it's a blend, but it has a lot of citrusy oils together. And Ylang Ylang also, which oh. is a very oh, balancing, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. very yes. exotic oil. Uh, I have also Idaho uh, Blue Spruce, which is very high frequency oil. Um, pine. Yeah, it's pine. Ah. So it, it, it's, it, it is very high very frequency. Good. This is, uh, I use it a lot uh, for emotional release. Are this we going to crack that bottle? Pine works yeah. very you well with emotional release. Please, yes, uh, yeah. do. 
You actually put it on the tip of your nose, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's just an incredibly. Is that um, a masculine odor? Huh? Is that a masculine odor? Fine. This mm -hmm. smells just like to oh, anybody out there in the audience that's played baseball, pine tar. You ever get you play on a pine tree? You get that stuff on your hands. That's exactly what it smells like. Mm -hmm. Christmas. I don't know about Christmas, but it smells like pine, pine top. trees. Yeah, right? it, it might. Yeah, it probably does, and uh, it actually is higher in frequency than rose. So pine actually is very good for release. They say all the the woody uh, oils mm -hmm. they work because they are roots of the trees, so they work at a very deep they're level. Taking yes. the, they're taking the energy from Gaia. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's earth energy that mm -hmm. you have in the scent. Yes. So of course, it's going to be very powerful. And any know? kind of and anything that grows that you're using here in any of these oils all come from the ground. Yes. Because they're all yes. rooted in the ground. Right. But yeah. see, I impress myself. I'm telling you, I'm I am impressed. <laughs> I am impressed. It's amazing how yeah. it all relates together, right? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you know, um, I uh, channeled through a few things, and when I looked back on it, was reviewing it. It said that uh, Creator will now answer the earth. Uh, when the earth calls for rain and when the earth calls for clouds he will answer and when the earth's plants start to grow they will be God's plants wow. this he will answer now how beautiful yes yeah, isn't beautiful. this beautiful so it yeah. just made me think of it when you were saying that mm -hmm. about from from the earth all of this is coming all of this is coming oh, yes. it's growing it this it's is what mother nature gave us like Tom yeah, yeah we, we've had people think this is something new and uh, all of a sudden we have essential oils yeah. this is not this is this is it, they come from uh, Cent Egypt and even the Middle East, Egypt that's right, just and me. centuries and centuries of and ancient Indian. knowledge. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, uh, these are healing, highly healing agents, and uh, that that Mother Nature gave us, that God gave us. But what is the what is the, like you know? I mean, what do you tell somebody? They take a bottle from you, or get a mm -hmm. bottle of uh, the cedar pine, and you tell them what one drop every day and be on your you know. I mean, is there a medicinal type of amount that you would use for a specific issue like you say something to ground the emotions of the heart it's Somebody intuitive right that and of course there yes. are like recipes. you might say for him to put a drop on every day but for someone else you might say put a two drops on uh, every three days or something like that right yes yeah and also the blends make a difference so mm. so because so, you can um, ingest certain essential oils some and not others mm -hmm depending on how pure they are yeah. and then some and most of them go through your nasal passage so you diffuse mm -hmm. them in your diffusers yes. mm -hmm. and sometimes you can add them to baths mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. you add them to your lotions through mm -hmm. the skin and um, so it's also the convenience like yeah. they're okay I don't have the time to like take baths all right then just plug it in like mm -hmm. diffuse it it's what it, yeah. it, 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 it works for you. I have clients who travel a lot, and I make these uh, small inhalers for them. They're little tubes. They can carry them in their pocket, mm -hmm. and they can just open. Yeah. Uh, no, the roll-ons work really good. Roll you just ons. roll it on. Uh, and yeah. then you can bring them if you go for massages. Let's say there are essential oils that yeah. work well with your um, uh, musculoskeletal system or just for, for your relaxation, depending what. And you can bring it to, to a massage with you. Uh, yeah. There's so many application methods that, and they they're really easy to use without. Yeah. People think you have to make a production. Uh, no, you don't they, have they're to. The funniest part no, about it's it. very simple. When I came here tonight, I you know after I showered and shaved. And How are you feeling I, now? I feel real <laughs> good, but I want to. I came here wearing Gucci cologne and I don't smell anything but what I've been smelling okay I don't smell a thing but this stuff That's much good. purer much yeah. purer yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh. and you know thing. that's the thing just like energy healing and faith healing and so forth it is not new this goes back <laughs> I mean Thank you know you. when Jesus healed what did he use he Ooh, used there is energy he used I have one favorite oil of Jesus Christ which here. one yeah my dear what is that? Ah, and it's not frankincense <laughs> <laughs> tell oh, us oh, tell okay. us and uh, before I tell you I'm going to keep you in suspense. Um, <laughs> this oil he carried around with him uh, a lot mm -hmm. and uh, all the time, actually. And there's so many references in the Bible with this oil. 
um, and I'll let you smell it. It has a child <laughs> safety cap on okay. because you can ingest this oil. It's called Aesop. Aesop. And it's uh, when you uh, smell it. Ooh, um, you got a buzz over that the way oh, you do that. Oh, that stinks to it's, me. It's very okay. strong. It's a very strong. It opens up your lungs. It's very healing. Mm -hmm. It oxygenates your brain. Um, it's very good to use when you have sinuses, but also yeah, when you're mind. stressed. And you know, sometimes when we stress, we don't yeah, breathe. Smell this, Chris. You we really just want to this. breathe. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, we heal through breath. Yes. You know, what did you say? <laughs> it kind of smells like camphor. Let me see how yeah. it's spelled. Uh, well, smell oh. the bottle. A little bit. You know what? A little bit. This You're right. It's this calm. might be what was rubbed it's on my face. <laughs> it doesn't react to me but well. But do you know, energetically, <laughs> sometimes when you have a reaction, uh -huh. strong reaction, it could be because you might you actually need that oil. That's oh, right. That's oh, right. 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 It was right. releasing. Wow. In aromatherapy, we believe that, that uh, I had the same kind of reaction to Angelica. Oh, yeah? And oh. it was recommended to me in the uh, aromatherapy consultation. I said, Angelica, I can't stand it. I, I just could not. I get and it. You know what? Yeah. I started diffusing why you stand it little it. by little, mm -hmm. little. I love it now. Mm. You couldn't stand mm. it because in a past life it was something that was something a part of you. Past life, it could you be. Mm -hmm. It could be. And now you got used to it again. It's good. Again, a root, right? The roots have a very, they heal the past life issues. Mm -hmm. the yes, they do. But I just could not be around it. And now I'm fine. Yeah. So it there could was be you had that reaction too. Oh, yeah. Now, what did you just say that it heals the root of... Uh, so any kind Repeat of that. root oils or mm -hmm. any kind of uh, ver grounding oils, uh -huh. they go very deep and they heal deep-seated issues mm -hmm. and some of them could be the past life issues. Mm -hmm. So they work strong at a very strong level. It's, it's, um, the way I look at it is, so flowers are um, the topical part, so yes. they heal with the topical issues. You Pine know, your skin, deep your... roots, oaks have I deep got roots. Yeah. Heart. Yeah. Most heart. The heart. good for the you. heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So this is good. Yeah, good start, mm. right? Good yeah. start. Mm. Another thing I did uh, want to mention um, about, um, so when it comes to psychic senses, we all have um, different strong senses. Some of us are more clairvoyant, some of us are more clairaudient. Uh, the sense of smell is actually a very strong psychic smell for... Oh, right. I have that mm. gift. I can smell like you can't imagine. In another life, you were a beagle. People don't know that that really is a gift, though. That people, that there is the psychic gift smell, of smell, taste, you know. And I mean, I can smell things from way over there that somebody else would have to be right there. Yes. Yeah. And when, uh, yeah. You you exercise your nose because it's like wine, right? Too like some yeah. yes, mm -hmm. they can just. For me, I drink one wine and I can't, I can't <laughs> tell the difference. Now, actually, when I became an aromatherapist, I started distinguishing different notes in the wine. Mm -hmm. Interesting what it does to your nose and to your taste. It's more sensitive. When you right? Yeah. When mm -hmm. you start exercising that scent mm -hmm. uh, of smell. Practicing Before, the I muscle. I could not, right? I could not, uh, whatever, you know, uh, it's all the same, but it's, it's a, it's mm -hmm. a gift special gift we have yeah. beautiful gift we all have that um, isn't there one uh, oil dragon's blood i think it's called in in Ooh, young the dragon's blood there was an incense i yeah, know that there's a dragon's blood oil that it's i think it's an essential right? oil yeah mm -hmm. and uh, that was a lovely smell i mean uh, the name doesn't bring a pleasant ma things you know what i mean mm -hmm. but the smell of it was delicious to me mm -hmm. yeah dragon's blood is used how do you like your uh, specifically in mm -hmm. How do you like your uh, your dragon? You like him uh, <laughs> crispy or al dente? Must be raw. No, I'm only kidding. You know, but yeah. <laughs> I really like uh, uh, that. Those two ones you let me smell. Mm -hmm. I've never. I Not don't really. Well, we only have, have a few more minutes to go. But what's the rest of it? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, another one is um, lavender flowers, and I have frankincense in here. I like lavender. Let me get a mm -hmm. sniff of yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. This is. Not just lavender, it's lavender flowers. It's slightly different from the regular I can lavender. smell that from here. That smells very different. I would love to different. smell that. Yeah. Sure. I would be curious. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, for our uh, audience, lavender, sometimes if you're having problems sleeping, you put a drop on your I pillow. I can definitely smell lavender, but I smell it other. It's a different, slightly yeah. plant yeah. material yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I can tell, smell that, yes, it's lovely. Yeah, it's just such a, you know, it's such a multitasker. Oh my God, I, yeah, I, I love pairing lavender with amethyst, in, in that sense, if I look at the mm -hmm. crystal. You got an amethyst right there. And right there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll mm -hmm. add little bits of crystals to the essential oil blend because that. that charges it. Oh, of course. It'll charge yeah. the room. Absolutely. <laughs> now, amethyst is a feminine stone. What are you trying to Very say? Very feminine. Because I have an amethyst. I always have one home that's two feet tall. Oh, well, you can give it to me, but no, what it means is. <laughs> can I say something on that subject? <laughs> oh, okay. Here, can, here. I, can I just. We, we, we just went into <laughs> the vagina <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you just open up oh my God. Warm. You just open up again a word. Case closed. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, come on. We all have masculine and feminine regardless right. of gender. Thank you. Yes. You hide we it pretty well. We all have those uh, polarities. Right. So in other words, because you're so masculine, you need the amethyst for the To feminine. balance it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see? See, that was actually a compliment, not nothing negative. No. Next time you ask me to wear pink, it won't be a tutu. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Oh, Tommy. We'll see about that. Oh, <laughs> okay. In, in the summertime, they all work together. Pink. Yeah. I'm being assaulted up here, Bob. Be open-minded. Open-minded. I am open-minded. <laughs> you know what it is? You know, the Italian men grew up very, they're taught very he-men. None of this feminine stuff. And when I asked you them to wear... You were best friend testosterone. Right. And when I asked you to wear pink, did you not take ribbing for, for weeks? <laughs> yeah, she says, well, you have a nice tan, Tom. Pink will look nice on you. <laughs> yeah, all right. So he wore, he, he wore pink, but he didn't live it down. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and she says that to me in the song. Time. I think we'll wear pink. I said, why do we have to wear pink? <laughs> yeah. I said, can it be something else? Mm. You know, how, how about turquoise? <laughs> why do we do that? Yeah. But pink is a beautiful color, it very beautiful high vibration. Color. Oh, boy. Yes. The okay. color of love. <laughs> now we have five minutes. Yeah, yeah. and let's just, I, I just want to add something. Let's recap. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Feminine doesn't, uh, it's not about pink, it's not about uh, what we associate with feminine. Feminine is an expression, okay? It's expression, it's how you express, we express ourselves. Mm -hmm. Masculine is space. Um, I always give analogy. Let's say we have this room here, without chairs, without pictures, without this beautiful fence and stones and, you know, things that you filled into this room, it would be just space. So this is masculine. Masculine is that pure presence. It's that space that holds everything, Structure. holds life. And, and feminine also is an expression. Also, my muscles are tightening up on me. Why? I feel like He-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So feminine uh, is, is, is referred to expression. So without all of this, this room would be empty. It's the heart. It's the heart. It's how we express our feelings, emotions, what we feel inside. That's mm -hmm. what that's what we call feminine. It has nothing to do with gender or pink shirts or anything that we associate with any of that. And mm -hmm. it, it blends its its life for all there is. Masculine and feminine are polarities that when they blend together, it's just a beautiful union mm -hmm. of a of a human being. A balanced human a being. A balance. A balance because what happened with a lot of cultures, men were taught to suppress that and not to express okay. but rather suppress and 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 sometimes i'll recommend patchouli oh, or i'll recommend yes. a lang a lang yes. to bring that out, out so actually it will help you heal and express yourself more and yeah so i just had to say that sorry well you know <laughs> the great avatars um yeah. you know such as jesus and and the others uh they all had very balanced yin yang Mm -hmm. Balanced male, female, and that's okay. perfect. Yeah. So I'm it's wrap this up. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, last word. I I completely agree with her. A lot of healers have very balanced male and female mm -hmm. energy, and as yeah. such, both men and women feel very comfortable around mm -hmm. them, both sides. So it's just they yeah. comfortable around me. <laughs> Balance. <laughs> I know you are so. <laughs> anyway, you gotta be. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to end it up. Okay. Anyway, we have a couple of minutes left. We've got to thank our uh, audience. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. We had a lot more, thank but you. they were indisposed. And our TV family at home. And our boys in the booth. Boys in the booth. All right, there we go. Boys and girls, yeah. And boys and girls. That's right. Girls. Christine, our camera, everything. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, our beautiful guest. 
Hananas. Mehernas. Shanana. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, Irina. Okay. And sis. Well, you we know, two minutes. We're I'm, I'm going to hold you to that Indian dinner, my dear. Absolutely. I love Indian dinner. Yes. Wait a minute, I knew her first. Ah, <laughs> yeah, but she's going to cook for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, so, but I really do want to want you to, do you have any spare of those rose oils? Oh, um. Uh, the one that I really fell in love with that. I, I possibly one. do at home. I can check and yeah. Oh, that would be wonderful because I know some. you brought them from India, right? Yeah, yeah. And a certain mm. brand and so forth. Because mm. different brands will smell different. Oh, of you course, know. Yes. the different yeah. uh, distillation procedures yes. and right. processes. Right, right. And there's so many too. That's another topic. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's a whole different. In essential oil. House. Right. So, yeah. you know, uh, with uh, with these guests we've had here, we all do a multitude of things. And one of the things that I found out is that she does the human design. And um, that is something I've been looking forward to having on the show for quite a long time. Someone who could uh, come on and do a show. So I hope to have you come on to do that again because that is totally unique. And um, th there are far and few between. Okay, we got one minute. So and let's up. Uh, That's about it. I'm sorry, dear. Go That's ahead. okay. I want to thank our sponsors, Antonio's Pork Store in Tottenville for the delicious food, and Arbok Pest Control for he's my best friend. So there you go, and that's it. All right. Well, we want to thank our TV viewers. I did that already. Okay. Well, I'm thanking them now well, too. You're watching so this then. show or the next yeah. one. Okay. And uh, so Put we'll see you next Put that crown on her head. She's the queen. I am a queen. Don't we right. go without a crown. She said. <laughs> okay. So okay. good night. See you next time. Everybody month. say good night now. Goodbye now. Pleasure. Bye. Bye. What the hell is that? Bye. <laughs>